Okay, today I'm up here at the well. Uh, we had this drilled almost a week ago. Hopefully it's been enough time for the water level to rise and settle to, so we can try and get a measurement of what the static head is where the water sits so we can then determine the size pump we need. Uh, we estimated 150 to 180 feet. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a bit deeper than that and if it is then we may have to go with a bigger pump and we may not be able to do a uh, solar type deal. So crossing our fingers I'm going to tie a weight and drop down on some fishing line and see if we hear a splash. But first I'm going to lay out some measuring tape. I'm going to spool out maybe 180 feet. It's 191 feet to that burning barrel right in front of the truck. I'm using a new spool of 20 pound test. It has 650 yards of line on it. And uh, I'm just going to unspool it. I'm going to tie that to this brass weight, which is about a pound. And hopefully, we don't lose it. All right, here goes nothing. I got a little piece of tape here to mark the line when it hits. That's it. It's right about there. Now we gotta pull it out and measure it. Okay. Verdict is 191 feet times 2 minus 50, 332 feet. Whew, that's far. The well is 465 feet deep minus 332. That's 133 feet of water times 1.47, 195 and a half gallon reserve. So if we set the pump at 440 minus 332 it's 108 feet times 1.47 that's 159 gallons of water above the pump. Uh, five gallons a minute <clears throat> that would run out in 31 minutes full bore. I can live with that. Okay today is pump day guys are on their way we're gonna drop pipe connect the pump wire it up put in the pressure tank hopefully we'll have water in the next couple hours and then I got to figure out what I'm gonna do about a generator to run this while we build our house because it's gonna be a 230 volt pump and the generator I have is only 115 so that'll be our next challenge once we do have water coming out of here
in. Like a three inch? Yes. Not awesome. I love this one. That's an SQE? It's an SQ. SQ? 450? For. That's the solution. That's the, the in the well filter I called it the other day. Oh. You remember how I told yeah. you the sediment? <laughs> but I mean, why do you slice it like that? Because that's how we hold it on. Oh, I see what you're saying. So that's 10-2 solid? Yes, sir. That should be good. I don't like strength of wire. I really don't. Only hate. for DC. I've had it break in the coat and stuff on these pumps, and you can't find it. So now you're talking about yep. 400 foot you gotta replace. So I just, I like, it holds up better. And they make it flat, but I just like to twist. Well, this thing ain't gonna move anyways. Yeah. It's all start, and then we're gonna put a torque dresser on the tube. That's what we want. Tape the wire. I tape it every well for a few of them. I'm gonna tape it halfway right. every 10 foot, and then after about 40 to 60 foot, we're just taping at every joint. Every okay. joint. Like PVC or what's it made out of? Yes, it's PVC. a model. Yeah. Normally, what makes them go bad is the clamps are, clamps are rusted off. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even though they're stainless steel plants. Yeah, right. They're the best ones you can buy, apparently, but I see them rust. And a Coke. <laughs> so we got a sample cock and a hose bib. Yes, sir. I figured you wanted a hose bib. Yeah. And there'll be one on the tank, but it's going to be sitting on cat block. Yeah. It's kind of just to drain the tank. Yeah. <laughs> it really ain't much you can do with it. It's not sealed up. This has got little slots in it. Okay. So that it can pull air so it can fill back up. Oh, okay. There's all different kinds out there. That's just the kind I use. 
So the four bolts, when you tighten them, it squeezes that rubber out and yes, tightens it. Never up. take the bolts out. Right. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to go and drill new welds for people because they took the bolts out. <laughs> because it's a solid piece at the, under it. So when it slides down the pipe, if yeah. the tape don't catch it or something. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> there is no getting it back, which in your case with the big couplings right. we use and all the tape we use, I mean. Yeah. I doubt it's yeah. gonna happen. Of course, I doubt you would take the bolts out anyways. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. The only reason you'd take the bolts out is to be pulling it, and without a crane, you're not really gonna pull it. <laughs> not that far. I think we got a well. I think we do. About time. But All the real work begins. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm not the most patient person, so you know, a bunch of people out there are asking uh, when we're putting out our next video, and man, they can't come fast enough for me either because more videos means there's more stuff happening, but we just gotta bide our time. Yep. We can get there. I have literally taken well extras out and put these in. Why? These well extras they're making now, I ain't. Oh, I don't good. use well extras a lot. But the ones I have used and the ones I've had to replace have still been under warranty. Yep. They should not go bad in your warranty period. <laughs> yeah. I'm weird, like all, like my bolts have to always sit like this. <laughs> My tanks have to be perfect <laughs> angles. I don't know. Screw them. It drives them crazy. <laughs> In Indiana. Or the wetter dryer, whatever it's called. And I found if you primer the fitting, it's more apt to blow off. Hmm. Instead of just the pipe? Instead of just the pipe. I don't know why. One inch, it's really just, it's however you do it. But when you start messing with two inch mm -hmm. and stuff like that, I've had them shoot off like, you know, pumping <laughs> 80, 90 gallons a minute, blowing all over you. <laughs> yeah, you figure out which way to make sure that stuff don't blow off. Oh, I didn't cut this one yet. <laughs> Not too bad. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty fancy to me. What's this technical technic uh, what's this technical wire you got here? Oh uh, with the plug on it? Yeah. That warms the truck up. Warms the truck up? Yeah. That's your block heater? Yeah. I don't believe you. water so we're gonna let that uh, shock what is that chlorine or bleach let that sit in here for 24 hours and then it should be good thanks to Seth and Brad for hooking us up with some water putting this pump in and, uh, we'll see you in the next video pump tag I need a t-shirt that says pump tag <laughs> <laughs>